Jadron here, what's going on guys? We got this Beta FPV, I believe it's the 85X, it's not the HD. I did want the HD, I thought I ordered the HD. Down below it showed a video of the HD, but uh, it was marked on the bar as FPV, even though this is FPV, and supposedly the company says that's not the HD version, so we have this one. Uh, we are going to be bound to the jumper. Uh, we will be using the stock FXT goggles, and let's go. Okay guys, here we go. Watch this entire video, please, if you're considering getting this drone or if you have this drone. Immediately, I'm going to say we're not even 100 meters away. We are getting fuzz. See the power lines above me initially? I thought maybe that's the cause of it. I'm going to give this drone as fair as a shake as possible. And the end result is sickening. The end result is complete utter sickening that a manufacturer could push something like this out i like beta fpv i have multiple drones from beta fpv um i've never had an issue that we are dealing with right now but we are going to get down to it we are going to test everything i'm going to go ahead and sit this drone down here and we are going to move in front of the power lines away from the power box that's on that pole just to give it the benefit of the doubt we've now moved away from them we're in front of them and immediately we're getting snow, I'm going to say about at 50 meters. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. This is unacceptable. This is not good. Could it be my uh, my goggles that I'm using? It could be. Um, I highly doubt it is, but it could be. But stay tuned. Watch this entire video, please. I try to show you guys the good, the bad, and the ugly. Nobody has commented on this, despite the fact me seeing other people's videos that they're doing short-range flights and they're getting considerable feedback. They're not commenting on this, and I don't don't know why all right i'm getting unacceptable breakup the only thing that i could think is the manufacturer had these two um antennas down below and i have them kind of right behind the 5.8 gigahertz antenna so what i'm going to do as you can see how i have them kind of like just wired through there i'm going to drop them down i'm going to drop them down where the manufacturer had them and see if we don't lose that breakup initially i thought it was the power lines that were over top of me that's why i moved but uh we still have unacceptable breakup i've gotten better uh reception out of toy grades all right guys so this is with the antennas below the prop guards um i originally as i showed you had them above it the manufacturer had them below it and again we're not even hitting that yellowish tree which i'm banking we're about 50 meters we can't eat we might even be only 25 meters and we're getting heavy feedback can we fly through this feedback at 25 meters yes can we fly through this feedback at 50 meters possibly any further than that it is unflyable we are getting ridiculous ridiculous snow outs what I'm going to do here is just burn the battery because I knew right here, I, I didn't foresee all the testing that I was going to do, but this drone ate me alive. Um, I came inside so frustrated at what I paid for the drone, so frustrated at the range that I was getting, because again, we are going out there, we're not even hitting that yellowish tree and we are getting fuzz. They, we, we shouldn't be getting fuzz from a 200 milliwatt drone, but okay, maybe, maybe, maybe the, the output is not on 200 milliwatt. Right here, you can see the clarity of the Caddx camera. The Caddx camera is excellent. I have one on uh, the Armor 85 drone, which gets way better range than this does, um, and the, the Caddx camera is excellent. The FPV setup that they've given us on this drone is not excellent. Please stay with me, guys. Um, again, right now, I'm just burning the battery. I did not anticipate on breaking this drone down and figuring out, was it the drone? Was it my goggles? Was it my antennas? Which I've done all that. Stay with me. I promise you, you want to see this video because I'm truly sickened at what was sent to me and again bam i smacked myself that kind of hurt be careful smacking yourself with this um and i paid for this Th this was not review and it took forever on a slow boat to get to me and i i did an unboxing i did a how to bind it to the jumper and i was disappointed because it wasn't the hd version despite the fact they had a youtube video attached to the sales listing that i bought they had a youtube video that showed the hd version that was an epic fail we'll get it um and uh I got this and they told me, oh, you have to move the sub menu down. Well, the sub menu said FPV. Okay. The sub menu said FPV. This drone is a FPV drone. 
and the YouTube listing, bam, there we go. Um, the YouTube listing that was attached to the submenu that I had clicked was for the HD one, and unfortunately, this is an HD one. This is the FPV one, which is showing to be very minimal FPV range, which again, I am disgusted over. I've never been so disgusted with a drone, dude. The Alsama CG033, um, I think I, I, <laughs> I think I would rather mess with that than mess with this because the end result, if you stay with me to the end of the video, the end result, I promise you, is sickening, is jaw-dropping, is ridiculous. Alright guys, so this is the drone, that's the drone that we just flew there, I have the canopy off of it. Um, I'm going to try to focus down here, if we could focus, you see a green and a red light, kind of, kind of not. Um, you see no blue light. Up towards, in front of that green light, you're going to see a blue light in a second. Behind... See that little white button behind the red there? Uh, I'm going to try to get something here. There's a little white button right here. And again, I know it's having a hard time focusing on it because it's so small. Um, but what I'm going to try to show you here is FPV quality. Right now, it's on. We have no FPV. I'm on the channel. Um, I'm going to hold this. You have to long hold this. If you just short press it, the red's going to move. If you hold it for like two seconds, the green's going to move. Long hold it till you see a blue light come on. Okay. We have a blue light. We have iffy feedback, even though this is right on top of this, dude. Um, I'm assuming whatever milliwatt that is, is what we were in. And we we're just getting garbage, garbage range. We're going to go ahead and hold this again. Pay attention to blue light above my finger. Okay, we just switched over, and now we have much clearer FPV um, footage on here, but I'm going to press it again. And again, I'll try to raise up so you can see that blue light. Every time it switches milliwatt, it changes here. Now I'm crystal clear. I think that's the highest milliwatt that we can go. Um, so we went from 0, 1, 2, 3. I'm going to press it again just to make sure, just to show you. It is. And now we're on zero milliwatts. Um, why they even offer that as an option is beyond me. Maybe if you want to turn it off and save battery, I don't know. But let's go ahead and I'm going to long hold it. I'm going to see if long holding it will jump through the blues. We're on one blue. No, so you actually have to long hold this each time. So we're going to long hold it again. I'm gonna long hold it once more. I'm gonna take this back out and fly it. Um, there we go. That should be the highest milliwatt. That should be the best picture that we are going to get. As you can see, it took a little while to kind of uh, stabilize here, but we are, we're clean. Super clean footage. Um, hopefully, that'll give me better flyability because again, what we just did was unacceptable. Um, if you are getting un unacceptable feedback, go ahead and uh, right behind that red LED, there's a white button. I'll try to get down on it. Long hold that so that blue LED moves. All right, guys. So the only thing that we've changed is a little bit of placement on that 5.8 gigahertz antenna. Um, placement on our antennas right there. And we've changed it to the highest milliwatt output power, providing this didn't reset when we shut it off, which I wouldn't think it would. So we're going to give this a run again. Um, flyability, flyability was fun, especially towards the end there where I was kind of zipping around myself. It flies really nice. Um, and I hit myself twice. Uh, the first time it actually really hurt. <laughs> so I don't suggest you doing what I was doing uh, because uh, if it would have caught myself in the face, maybe I would have had a little drone bruise. But well, let's go. So if you caught the caption, the caption did say it did default. We're not on 200 milliwatt, we're on whatever's before it and in between 25, which I could only assume is maybe 100 milliwatt, which is proving not to even be that. Dude, we're not making it to that tree without heavy wide out. Stay with me, guys. We're about ready to break this wide open and show that this, this is ridiculous. Right, so now I've actually dropped that 5.8 gigahertz antenna down. See if that does anything. Um, we're getting horrible reception. Uh, the only other
other thing that I could think to do is pop these screws off and see if it is still on the highest milliwatt, which would be the light all the way to the right, or if it in fact did reset itself. If it reset itself, that's a horrible feature, but uh, we'll find out soon. As I stated in our quick up, this is a voiceover after the fact. The really clear images um, were the now. Uh, and again, I didn't know this wasn't, I didn't know it defaulted. It did definitely default. It's not on the fake 200 milliwatt. And I'm going to say fake 200 milliwatt because again, if you stick with me, I'm going to show you what real 200 milliwatt on this drone will do. It will not fuzz out in 50 meters. Uh, it will not fuzz at 25 meters. We will get epic range. Stay with me to the end of this video. I promise you guys, if you have this drone, maybe you want to return it. If you were thinking about getting this drone, maybe you don't. The only exception to this rule, bam, this is kind of cool, right? Um, the only exception to this rule is if I got a bad one, and if I got a bad one, the manufacturer better step up and send me another one because I paid for this and show me, hey, we're sorry, mass production, you got a bad one try this one out and then in that juncture that one that i get better get the end result that we did with the real 200 milliwatt camera here but only time will tell all right guys excuse the background noise but we are trying to get this right so i'm going to long hold this and see if the light goes off no so there we go it didn't save what i had it on i'm gonna long hold it again and be careful with this on for a little while long holding this the surroundings is a bit warm so there we're at zero assume that would be uh 25. not sure what the second highest is but That should be the highest milliwatt. Um, and we have no feedback lines on there. So we're going to run this back outside. I don't even think I'm going to put the canopy back on. Um, I'm not going to. Hopefully I don't crash. Hopefully I don't break it. But uh, let's go. So the canopy is still off. Like I said, I didn't put that on because I wanted to make sure that light was going to stay. Again, we're hitting that tree. We're getting heavy fuzz. We're almost a white out there. Right past that tree, almost a white out. And again, maybe that was 100 meters maybe this is not good this is on quote unquote 200 milliwatts and dude i know i've been around a block with 200 milliwatt and i've been out there i've been close to a mile with 200 milliwatt and we're just hitting maybe 100 meters and snowing out please stay with me for your sake please stay with me period all right guys it just ain't cutting it i've had a 25 milliwatt camera do considerably better than this camera with this stock setup. I'm going to try to change the antennas to better antennas, which I've never done with this FXT setup. Um, I've never taken off those antennas. They, Dude, I've had those antennas up to like 1.3 kilometers on a 200 milliwatt AIO, and I've flown way further than we're getting off of this um, with the stock antennas, but we're gonna switch them up and see how it goes. Let's go. All right, so we got these dope antennas on here, which I've tested. I tested on the Hubson controller, and I got a, a 501 to go out well past a mile clear FPV. So I know these antennas work good. And uh, as you can see, we're getting the same result, if not worse results. Um, did this, guys, again, other YouTubers have reviewed this drone. Other YouTubers obviously sugarcoated stuff. Obviously flown in short spaces just to show you the good because it is good the cadex camera is excellent in short range but look at this look at this ridiculous i've flown rtf toy grade drones with junk 5.8 systems way farther than this and this is a 150 dollars drone i think it originally retailed out at maybe like 170 something um maybe you can find it on a deal for 130 something right now but again guys i'm I'm very upset over this. I like Beta FPV. All the other drones prior to this drone have been excellent. This drone flies excellent. The Cadex camera on it is excellent. The FPV setup that they put on this drone is complete junk. And again, stick with me. I'm going to show you that. I'm going to show you what a 200 milliwatt camera 
should be able to do. Um, obviously, we're not going to go-go the range, but we're going to go much further. All right, guys, I'm getting this as fair a shake as possible. This does, that little blue light does jump to the left once. You have to put it on 200 milliwatts each time. Um, we are using Ishin ROTG Z. ROTG01 Pro Receiver, and uh, maybe the goggles aren't compatible with it. Maybe this is going to give me better range, and if it doesn't, I'm going to do one more test just to show you, uh, just to show you something. As you can see inside, I'm getting, I'm already getting feedback. I'm right next to the antenna here, <laughs> um, but let's go. Okay, so right here is a compatibility test. Maybe it was my goggles, right? I know fact the ROTG01 Pro, the regular ROTG01 gets epic, epic range. And look what's happening. Look what's happening. I cannot see. I'm losing orientation. I cannot see. The drone is crashing into trees over top of trees. Unacceptable has never happened in this area. All right, guys, I snowed out, hit the top of the trees, fortunately. It came back down. This will be a mild durability test on it. Uh, nothing seems to be broken. Uh, and now we are going to do something completely different just to show you guys what junk this setup is. All right, guys, what I've done is I've stuck my own battery supply. I've stuck a real 200 milliwatt. And I'm saying real because uh, I've taken this camera out 1.4 kilometers with this setup right there um, using not the Pro but the regular ROTG01 and never had any issues hopefully when i turn this on the fpv on this drone doesn't interfere with signal that way i can show you a little bit of a range run with the real 200 milliwatt um the caddx camera that's on us is excellent for quality but as far as what they got going on dude I, i've never never FPV crashed in this field ever um i try to play as safe as possible and it ended up over there i snowed out and dude i was, I was right here there's no reason for me to do that so let's go this DVR is coming off my LG cell phone with the ROTG01 plugged into it. Clearly, we're getting a little bit of jello from the last crash. The props are a little bit distorted, and uh, this is only double-sided tape on top of the Cadex. Dude, we're almost all the way down the street. We're getting a little bit of feedback, but nothing compared to what we were getting. We are not snowing out. We are not fuzzing out. We are not going into a whiteout. I'm able to fly with this. And this next run, I'm going to show you, and that's why I'm so mad. I'm extremely mad. Dude, I'm cool. I'm calm. People compliment me on how cool and calm I stay when I crash stuff in my field. But this is unacceptable. Buying a drone at $150 is noted to have a 200 milliwatt camera on it. When I know how far a 200 milliwatt camera will go, look how far we're going. We are now past the end of the street, guys. We're cutting a corner. We're no longer in direct line of sight. We cut the corner. We went around with clear FPV. Tell me I'm wrong. Please. Somebody tell me I'm wrong for being mad. This is with a cell phone to receiver combo with a 200 milliwatt smacked on top of that Cadex. Now we're going to test the goggles to make sure it wasn't the goggles either and that it was not compatibility. It's just junk run was just done with that um prior to that we tried the fpv with that no, dude we didn't if we got past that tree there we just went all the way down there around the corner past that house over there clear fpv so how is a 150 dollar drone that's claiming to have a 200 milliwatt not getting past that it, Sun ain't right. Um, I'm gonna go one step further. We're gonna go back to our original setup, which we tried here, which we were snowing out really quickly. And we're going to use the AKK 200 milliwatt on there. The only huge downfall to this is, because sure, we can fly it like that. We could even take that camera out of there, the Cadex, put that on there. We don't have our telemetry. We don't have uh, our voltage. So we would essentially have to time fly these. Um, and try to figure out what type of flight time that you would get on this because i don't think this has a low voltage alarm beeper otherwise that would be the way to go but let's go let's uh let's let's pop the cell phone out we're gonna leave this just sitting on there because it's double-sided tape we're gonna put that in there we're gonna take this for a little bit more of a run i don't know what type of battery i have on that left um although i could probably find the channel and see what the voltage is off of that from the on-screen display but uh let's go 
now this DVR is being recorded via the FXT goggles, the with stock antennas, we haven't changed out the antennas. So the stock DVR, um, the screen that goes in the FXT goggles, I popped out the cell phone, and we're just gonna take it for a little run here. I don't know what type of battery I have. Uh, this this is unacceptable from the Beta FPV company. Again, Beta FPV, if you're watching this, anybody that's watching this that is a representative for Beta FPV, if I got a bad one, if uh, this was mass production at its finest, which I understand and I can understand that, get me a good one. Get me a good one. I'll rerun these tests and make sure that you're actually putting 200 milliwatts in your drones. But as of right now, as of right now, the drone that I have, the milliwatts that it's pushing out is junk. Now we're going to do a low run just to show you it's not just up in the up in the up in the sky. We just did a low run of almost this entire street. We're not fuzzing out, we're not snowing out. We are getting a little bit of feedback, but what we got off of the stock setup is unacceptable guys if you're encountering this issue it is unacceptable get your money back get you another drone um i'm jay drone if you haven't subscribed smash the subscribe button questions comments concerns down below